Hello and welcome to my Armature Ragdoll video tutorial. In this video tutorial I will show you how to make an uh, Armature Ragdoll. And uh, alright, uh, let's start. Um, to make it work, every bone, uh, of, first of all, this is my very simple armature, nothing special, just for testing purposes. Um, to make it uh, work like a Ragdoll, uh, first every bone needs a hitbox, so add a Q. Scale it right side, and something like that, and duplicate for every bone, like so. And now every hitbox needs a bone, so add armature, rotate it, and duplicate it for every hitbox like so and now we need to parent the bones to the hitboxes so select the bone then the hitbox and parent second one and again first bone hitbox and parent and um, I'm not going to stop the recording and start later on because otherwise my recording software will crash Alright, uh, back again to continue the tutorial. Um, and now we need to make the hitboxes uh, ragdoll, one of those boxy ragdolls. Oh. So, uh, oh no, for, uh, oh, oh wait, uh, first um, let's give them logical names like hitbox1, hitbox2, and Hitbox 3 and give the bones what you can have like hit 1, hit 2, and hit 3. And hit 3. Um, what I was saying, we need to make uh, this, uh, this one could be skilled a bit more. Like so, um, we need to make this the normal boxy uh, ragdoll. Um, to do that, we first need to make them actors in the game engine by pressing actor, dynamic, rigid body, and then bounce a box. Correct radius. Same for the other ones actor, dynamic, rigid body, um, correct radius, and bounce a box, and final one. Actor dynamic rigid body radius and box like so. Um, now we're going to give them uh, the constraints uh, to be a boxy ragdoll. So add constraint rigid body joint to object hit box two show pivot and I think it's about minus point one. Yeah, maybe point two. Yeah, that should do it. And same for these two hitboxes. So add constraint, rigid body joint to object hitbox one and show pivot minus point two minus point two. Yeah, that should do it. Uh, if you now start the game engine, they should fall. I do and I'm again gonna stop the recording and continue later on otherwise my recording software will crash all right back again and let's continue now with an actual mouse I forgot to turn it on in the other two recording parts sorry about that um, now uh, we're gonna add constraints to the normal armature so it follows the uh, hitbox armature. To do that, uh, to do this, uh, we add a copy rotation constraint to target hit one, and a copy location that targets hit one. If you now rotate the hitbox, the entire thing should move. 
Okay, and do the same for middle row, add constraint, copy rotation, target, hit 2, and copy location, target, hit 2, and final one, add constraint, copy rotation, hit, oh, hit 3, of course, not hit 2. And add constraint, copy location to hit 3. Um, if you now rotate the hitboxes, it should all rotate. And um, let's add a cube so it has something to fall on, like so. And Make sure in under game you've got record game physics to IPO. Unfortunately, it doesn't work in real time uh, uh, because uh, uh, I'm not sure actually. That's no, too bad. Um, if we now start the game instance, the cubes will fall, the hitboxes will uh, the hitboxes will fall, and that motion will be recorded and will use uh, that recorded motion to move the armature like so, the hitboxes fell and if you now press ALT A your entire armature should, should fall like so and there you have it, armature ragdolls uh, thanks for watching and uh, I hope you liked it and leave a comment in YouTube